Yo, yo, yo. So, um, I got one of my final thoughts that I had before I, like, move forward with stuff, but, um, I think it's vital that I talk about this. I was fellowshipping with, uh, my brother yesterday in a recording session, and, um, it made me just think about, like, this, this, this rap stuff that I do, this music stuff that I do, man. I just remember being in the world and how talented I, well, to be honest, I'm extremely talented. And I'm not going to say that in a prideful way or even in an overconfident boasting way. I'm saying it in a plain way. I'm very talented. And God, I give glory to God for giving me the gifts that I have. Man. And I learned that sometimes we can allow our gifts to get to our heads. And... Once you do that, you take glory away from God and, and give glory to yourself. And the pride of life, man. <laughs> you know, that's that's a big sin in itself. And just pride is one of those sins that God hates. And um Even pride comes before the fall, you know? Man. I've seen this and I gotta point it out. In, in the Christian hip hop atmosphere and I see a lot of pride in a lot of these guys and I just remember listening to a lot of these guys like in the beginning of my walk like yo man I'm way better than these guys I just remember that spirit that competitive spirit was just fueling up inside of me and it's not healthy but once you have other believers in, in Christ and believers in God or claim to be Christians you know and they talk in this way, like it seems like the world when they're talking a certain way about their rap and their skills and things like that. And like I said, it takes glory away from God, but it also stirs something up in people. What makes people want to compete with you? Because in this rap stuff, naturally it's competitive. It's always been this way since the, since the beginning, it seems like. It's, it's been competitive. It's, well, you got rap battles and... And just that's why you got charts, <laughs> comparisons, and, and, and charts and, and rankings because it's all a competition at the end of the day, you know. And I had to realize, like, yesterday, just after having that conversation, like, man, I was there where I was really competitive, even as a Christian, and that can ruin my witness as a Christian if I'm feeding into this culture. <laughs> you know, in this way, it's real dangerous to do that. And I said, with all the talent that I have, like, if I were to be honest, I thought I was the greatest to have ever like <laughs> create music. And I was just comparing myself to people in the industry. And if I were to compare people myself the people in the industry at that moment yeah I rap better than a lot of them and I can also sing and play instruments and produce and do all this stuff and even acting so I'm thinking of this stuff in my head like wow I got all these talents I'm capable of all this stuff I know like I can win Emmys Oscars and Grammys like this is the type of stuff that I've been thinking in my head prior to coming into the truth of God and it seemed like all that stuff dissolved once I came into the truth of God but listening to Christian hip-hop artists it stirred that competitiveness back up and that's not right you know it's not right because like i said now it's, it's like a stumbling block for me as a brother it's a stumbling block no it's a legit stumbling block for me you brothers in chh christian hip-hop are being used as stumbling blocks to other brothers in this christian hip-hop thing and i'm not saying i'm a part of a christian hip-hop thing no nah, man holy hip-hop we live holy lives around here <laughs> well, I'm not better than anybody. I esteem others higher than myself. I don't care about my rap skill, my rap ability. You know, are we preaching the gospel? <laughs> are we are we are we being a witness, a bold witness for the gospel? Are we telling people about Jesus? Are we pointing people to the most high God or are we pointing people to our albums? <laughs> are we pointing people to our merchandise? Are we pointing people to, to, to our videos? And, and Are we pointing people to us? So when I see that competitiveness in the... It's toxic. 
and it's a stumbling block and I was almost led astray into being a stumbling block I know it I know exactly where I was going that's why I had to like stop a couple albums stop a couple mixtapes like I, I like cut off half of the music that I was about to do because I'm like man I can't I can't get into this stuff I can't do it you know and I, yeah, I'm gonna tell my testimony, and then my when I tell my testimony, it ain't gonna be no complete gospel, blah, 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 like stuff like that, like spewing scriptures at you and stuff like that. But I want you to know that my life, and I'm not trying to brag about nothing, but I boast in God for delivering me from my sins, I boast in God for you know filling me with the Holy Spirit and to be able to move the way that I move. Like I desire to live a holy life. I desire to continually be sanctified, to be consecrated as a this is the temple of the Holy Spirit. I should be walking in righteousness. I should never have no no wicked thought towards my brother in Christ. So even if I do music this good, you know, like and somebody may not do music as good as me, you know, or things like that, it should that should never be the focus. Because ultimately, I could rap with all the flows all I want. If it ain't edifying, it ain't nothing. And somebody could use less flows, even different type of beats, a different sound. I feel like that's better. <laughs> yeah, a lot of that stuff is better than my stuff. Yeah. You know, yeah, I tell my testimony and stuff and I feel like it's, it gives glory to God, but when somebody bringing about scriptures, edification, encouragement by the scriptures, when somebody doing that, I don't care what you sound like. <laughs> if you rhyming, you sound nice, man, what? Man, I'm, I'm with it. I don't care about the theatrics, I don't care about the flows, I don't care about that stuff like I used to. And I feel like that's that that's an issue. You know, we focus on the on the creation more than the creator. And that's worshiping. You know, that's making something an idol. And we can even make our music our own idols. Making ourselves our idols. I just left that. That new age stuff. And I was God, I just left that. I ain't trying to go back to my vomit. <laughs> I'm not trying to go back there But I'm just glad I had that conversation with my brother And um I love him very much And um We got some great music coming up man We got some great music coming up uh, And like I said I, I could definitely get very prideful about myself my talents, the, the things that God, but God has graced me with this. God has given me this gift, and I should be using it to encourage, uplift, and edify. I shouldn't be using it to, to exalt myself up, to tear the next one down. That's wrong of me. And in a sense, that's evil, and that's sin, and that's like hatred in my heart towards somebody. And I believe that type of thought process can send me to hell. And I don't want to go to hell. <laughs> I don't think you want to go to hell. Mr. Christian Rapper <laughs> And um So if you are in this music thing As a Christian And You know just from my conversation yesterday After you know Being um It hit me You know My brother Manny really talked to me And it, it, it helped me out Just with other facets in my life as well you know, it, it ain't just that, and kind of like testimony old kind of, but even just female tension, I've been getting more of that, you know, that's, that's the thing that's going to happen, you know, just opportunities that can help me provide for my family more, just, you know, it's just, it's, 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 it's many layers to things that God's been blessing me with and I can abuse it all if I want to. But if I do that, I'm, I'm, I'm choking my blessing, I feel like. I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm drowning my gift if I'm not using it for God's purposes. But if I'm just using it for my own selfish gain. Even to get on these videos and talk you know, and just some people care so much about the views and, and things like that. Like if I get 10 views on my video, I'm cool. As long as those 10 views touched 10 people and maybe I watch one of them because I got to review my video. So 
You know, or if I get 20 views on a video, 50 views on a video, whatever it may be. You know, I'm, I'm cool. You know, God gonna get those that need to hear the message to hear. It's gonna happen. I'm gonna stay faithful to God's purposes and His will. And like I said, my music ain't get that many plays. Oh. That's because I came from the world. I gave my life to God. Everybody don't want to listen to me talk about God. <laughs> Everybody don't want to listen to me talk about Jesus and how he died for your sins and <laughs> how we're granted everlasting life if we believe and, you know, and just other things about the scriptures. And Nobody want to hear that you changed your life. Nobody want to hear that you don't smoke anymore, you don't drink anymore, you don't fornicate anymore. Nobody want to hear that. <laughs> You know, and I'm not going to judge anybody for their lives. And I say this a lot because I want y'all to know I'm not coming from that place. I'm coming from a loving place. I'm just talking about myself and my convictions. This don't mean that I'm pushing my convictions on you. And I feel like many Christians get it wrong. You know, when somebody feels something about their own sins or their own struggles and their own battles, we should be able to tell our testimonies as a witness to give glory to God. That could, this stuff could change somebody's life. This is why I talk about this stuff. <laughs> because it ain't for nobody. Like I, this, It's like therapy for me in a sense, but it's also to help the next person that may be dealing or struggling with this, or maybe just one person that's very talented, extremely talented, that needs to hear this message. If life don't revolve around you, use your talents for God's glory and not your own. And trust and believe God will bless you. God sees your heart. <laughs> God sees the intentions in your heart. God sees the thoughts that you have. When you have those thoughts. And I know I had those thoughts of like, like rapping and stuff. And people hearing the message. And, 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 and just like just give, giving myself glory to it though. And it's just like. And I'm just thinking like man. Just me talking about Jesus in this way. It's just crazy. You know. And just these flows that I'm using. Or this beat that I'm using. Or this production. that You know what I'm saying. It, it just. It, it, and it's never ending. And then you just put yourself back into that process of being like you were when you were in the world. I'm telling you. And I know there's one extremely talented person I'm talking to right now give glory to God with your talents and he will bless you and I'm not gonna say I'm living proof because at least with my talents <laughs> and things like that and and you know and people heard but it's more people than last year heard so that's a um, that's a plus <laughs> and once you're in this walk, stuff ain't gonna happen fast. Like I said, it's easy to go viral. If I want it right now, I can make an album to go viral. I could go platinum. Yeah, I could. If, if I were part of the world, I could make an album and I could go platinum. Like, literally, I could go in my house and make a 10 song album and go platinum. <laughs> I am not exaggerating. I'm telling you what God has gifted me with and how I can use it. But if I use it in that way, I'll be damaging more souls than saving souls. When you're in the business of saving souls, and you know who's above all the principalities and things like that, it ain't going to be easy. But if you have the right heart towards what you're doing, God will bless you. God will get it to the ears that need to hear. But ultimately, we should be walking with humility. We shouldn't be feeling like, oh, I'm better than this rapper or that rapper and I know I had those thoughts I'm better than him no we should have love in our hearts for our brothers and sisters in Christ we should have a pure heart towards our brothers and sisters in Christ and we should be more moved to edify and correct our brothers that are in the wrong more so they coming at them with this rap song with this rap energy with rap battle energy because then it turns to just like we might as well join the URL <laughs> ultimately uh Hope that something that I said could bless your life. Like I said, if you're extremely talented, and there's a lot of you out here in this Christian hip-hop world, this Christian rap world, even singers, y'all extremely talented. I see a lot of y'all. I see a bunch of y'all. Don't let this stuff get to your head, because that'll send you to hell. The pride of life. Don't do it. I'm telling you right now. Don't do it.
Love your brother and sister. Love your brother and sister. And trust and believe God gonna bless you. Edify your brother and sister. Don't make this about you. This ain't about you. This is about the one that was sent that died for your sins. Remember that and don't ever forget that. And I'm not talking to just you. I'm talking to myself as well. This is real. Because I love you, I speak this message to you. Because there ain't going to be a lot of Christian hip-hop artists that's going to tell you this. Because it's too fake. It's Hollywood. And you got too many of these artists. And like I said, these artists are signed with labels. With parent companies of major labels. They operate the same. <laughs> and this is one more thing I want to say about the Christian hip-hop or Christian music sphere. They compromise God's word. Whenever the big issues come up, and we know those big issues already, and the enemy knows how to close you in to make us look bad. Whenever the big issues pop up, they cower in fear. Because they don't want to lose their major label uh, sponsorships. They don't want to lose their, their endorsements. They, they don't want to lose the opportunity of being under their labels. But not knowing if you just do this independently and trust God, he's going to bless you way more than that label. And that's why I took the route that I did. You know, but ultimately, <laughs> it's just a blessing to, to breathe. You know, something just we think about just the talent that we have. Just to breathe, to be able to do this, stuff, just to breathe. You know, that's a blessing that God has given you the breath of life. So I hope you heard this message. I hope your spirit takes this message in. And um, may the Holy Spirit be with you and God bless in Jesus' name.